Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Toasty and today we are back with Final Fantasy Brave XVS. We got some news, you guys can see right here. This weekend, we get the Gill Snapper Caves as I'm screaming my lungs out. Uh, so this is going to be this weekend, so if you guys are lacking some Gill again, here's a chance to get some Gill. Ne uh, next, we're going to go right here, White Dragon. So basically this is an old event, uh, not an event, actually a trial that was in the... Uh, you guys can see right here in the, the Dimensional Vortex, Chamber of the Fallen. Uh, we beat that guy for the Katana. Uh, let's see right here, wait, give me a second. Murasame. So, Murasame, that's the first time you guys that got that Katana. Right here, uh, we're gonna go what uh, Mr. Mog has to say. This full attacks with, ver uh, with a great variety of elements, Kupo. Dragon Killer is super effective against it, Kupo. So, uh... A lot of elements, so we're gonna need some uh, maybe Ipernol Al, as I'm saying that. Uh, no, I'm just joking, but it uh, could be useful. Uh, so this dragon's coming back. You guys are gonna get some gr good rewards, actually. So 100 Lapis, once you beat him. Uh, Murasame Plus, so basically attack 111 and magic 14, and that's a katana. So that's not bad for something we can get for free, which is a really good katana, actually. The 111 is pretty, pretty strong. Then, 5% uh, 5% uh, 5 star Moogle, so 10% Moogle, which is really good, a rare 7 ticket. Party of 4 or less. Hmm, that's gonna be interesting. Can we nuke it down? That's gonna be the real question. Uh, so, a party of 4 or less, you get one rare 7 ticket. And, clear without an ally being KO'd, katana enhancement, uh, enchantment, sorry, boost attack and magic when equipped with a katana. We don't know how much it's going to give you. I might think it's going to be something like maybe 25 or 30% to uh, your attack and magic when equipped with a katana. So that's not bad at all. Really good. Really fun to see something new in the game. We're going to move on to the next one now. Because this is going to start being really fun. True Garuda. So you guys will be able to fight a second boss now this week. Uh, the True Garuda right here. Uh, you guys can see... Bird Killer is really effective against uh, Garuda. Once Chirada and Su Suparna appear, defeat them as fast as possible, Kupo. Uh, so we might see another two characters appear during the during the fight, I guess. I don't know how that's going to work, but I'm looking forward for it. Be careful not to destroy the monolith, Kupo. We'll see what it looks like, guys. I'm really excited for this fight. Uh, I'm really looking forward to those bosses. They're always fun to do. And they actually make you uh, think of the team you should use. Maybe we can use some Camille this week. We'll see what we're going to be able to use. Then, completion rewards. Complete the quest. You get a 5-star Moogle. Uh, no items. Uh, you get a 10,000 raid coins, which is always fun. Evoke an Esper. Rare summon tickets times 2. And party of 5 or less. Again, the party of 5 or less, man. Uh, wind up, uh, wind up Garuda, so you guys can see spirit plus 30, wind resistance 30%, nullify confusion. That could be actually useful, uh, once you're fighting trials or bosses that do a lot of wind damage. That's really cool. So, another boss we can try to do this weekend, which is great. Now, this is the fun part, we get a new banner. But before we talk about the banner... Let's talk about the event that we're gonna get. King Mog event, Monster Carnival, it's a Dragon Quest uh, cross with Final Fantasy Brave Exvius. So you guys can see right here, clear each exploration for reward. Beginner get rare summon ticket, intermediate gold coins, so that's gonna be the currency for the uh, King Mog. Uh, advance, gold coin again, pro, more gold coin. Elite, 500 lapis, which is always good. And legendary, 5000 gold coins. You guys can see right here. These are the things we're going to be able to get, which are actually really, really good. So, event exclusive equipment. Uh, Erdrick sword, which is a 125 uh, large sword, which is really, really good. Hopefully, they're not going to hit us with, well, it's only equipable to this character. Hopefully, any character in the game that can equip a large, large sword sorry, will be able to equip that. So, 125 is really, really good. Iron Axe, 58, uh, whatever, it's uh, it's okay. Staff of Anti-Magic, Spirit 62, which is strong for your healers or uh, if you're uh, for Misty or something. Chance of Silencing an Enemy. Basically, guys, if you're fighting bosses, that's never gonna happen. They're pretty much nullified to everything. 
and uh, which is an okay spirit uh, 62 if you guys are starting the game or even if you're a long time player it's still decent to get because you never know you might find some uses for it then we got the cautery sword Caut I, I hope I said this right attack stick 85 and demon killer on the sword which is really fun um, that's a really good sword actually the demon killer makes it really really useful since you get an extra 50% in the passive abilities on your attack against demons which is great crow's claws attack 52 normal attack hits two times uh, not sure how that's gonna work but uh, I'm pretty sure once you attack once the character does the attack move it's just gonna double the attack probably uh, not bad 52 maybe you could double your damage with dual wield you will maybe do even more damage so interesting interesting stuff here then we got the big boss shield uh, defense 45 auto shell which is good it's 20% more to your spirit uh, basically buffs your spirit by 20% at the beginning of the turn which is not bad I like the sprite uh, the face on the shield is really really cool and we got Graco strident attack 82 ice element and aquan killer uh, really good guys if you guys have Duke or a character that does a lot of ice damage well this is gonna be good for a character especially if for Duke uh, as I can see and even if you have Fravia in your party with the Imperial 75% on ice well this becomes a lot more interesting since you can have Duke do a little bit more damage so uh, I'm looking these are these are really good equipment guys this is really fun to see especially that sword right here that's pretty amazing 125 great sword for free hmm bring me more of those uh, and <coughs> sorry as I'm cho choking on myself we got the featured Dragon Quest Summon. So you guys can see all of the characters we're going to get here. Six characters on the banner, which is pretty crazy. So, Dragon Lord, Orochi, Golem, Killing Machine, Liquid Metal Slime, and Robin. Robin Hood. This is really funny. This is really cool. Uh, major boost drop rate uh, starting on Friday to Friday. Uh, so right here we can see Dragon, uh, Dragon Lord. So his job is he's basically a dragon lord, which is pretty funny. He's going to do a lot more uh, magic damage. Is uh, trust master restore HP and MP and fill LB gauge every turn during battle? Hmm, not bad. If you guys want to put that on a uh, healer or even on the mage, could be pretty good. Wave of relief cure poison, blind sleep, silence, paralysis, confusion, disease, and stone for all allies, which is not bad. Fire damage to one enemy and boost magic by eighty percent. Hmm, interesting. Global upgrade. Interesting stuff. I can't wait to see the damage multiplier on these things. Uh, that's gonna make it more interesting. So, here we got Orichi, which his job is Orichi. Wow, they made it pretty simple. So, a dragon with five heads. He's more of an attack character. He's a four star going to six star, as I can say in here. Dragon Lord is a five star going to six star. So, that's pretty cool. You guys have more chance to get him. Uh, is trust master boost attack by 40% and defense and spirit when HP falls below a certain point ah that's pretty good actually that's fun to see so not bad to put on your physical attackers or stuff like that and if they're getting hit well they have more chance to survive so that's not bad at all then we got uh, featured ability scorch fire damage to all enemies same thing here can't wait to see the multipliers on that then we get the global upgrade Shock and Claw. Deal partial unmitigated damage and chance of stopping one enemy. Okay. Boost attack by 60%. So right here you guys can see he's going to be able to dish out a little bit more damage. Then move on to the next one. Killing Machine. Which his job is Killing Machine. Uh, he's another attacker but this guy is basically a 4 star going to a 5 star. Uh, Stress Master. Oh man, Trominator Sword. So attack 114, enable machine killer, boost physical damage against machine monster. This is really good. So you guys might get a chance to get more of them, of this guy actually. Uh, that's a really good TM since you can do more damage against. Whenever you get passive ability like that, like killer abilities on your weapons, that's always good to have. Then we got featured abilities. Uh, that's a global upgrade by the way. Featured abilities, uh, unbridled blade damage to one enemy. Crackable Slash, Ice Damage and Chance of Stopping One Enemy, Double Trouble, Normal Attack Hits Two Times, so nothing special here. 
We're gonna move on to uh, Mr. Slime here, Liquid Metal Slime. <laughs> He's all about defense. Holy moly! What is this guy? This guy is all about. This guy is all about defense. Is he gonna be like a weird, funky tank? Man, that's gonna be good. So attack right here. You guys can see 999. HP is really low at 600. Spirit 500. MP 50. So trust master. Uh, Metal Slime Shield, Defense 49, Notify Poison, Sleep, Paralysis, Confusion, Disease, and Stone. Featured Abilities, uh, Metal Body, Decrease Physical and Magic Damage by 80% and Boost Fire, Ice, Lightning, Water, Wind, Earth, Light, and Dark Resistance by 50%. So, that's actually not bad. If you guys make this guy a 100% uh, pro, uh, pro, Provoke Tank or you use the uh, Illusionist Nicole if you have him, that could uh, there there's some funny stuff you can do with this guy. Then you got Kazis or Kazis whatever it's called. Lightning damage to all enemies. Uh, since this guy only has 50 MP, <laughs> I don't know how good it's gonna be to use uh, attacks like this. Then he has Kaboom damage all enemies. Uh, I don't know why, but this guy seems really interesting. I feel like this guy could be really, really funny if uh, you try to use him and cheese your way through a uh, a boss or something. Then we got Golem, which is job always Golem. He has more HP. He's basically a three star going to a five star. Trust Master Reward, Mighty Defense, Boost Defense by forty percent. You guys are gonna get a lot of them. That's it's an okay TM, but you never know. Sometimes you need to really boost your defense against some physical bosses, especially if you don't have the 100% uh, evade build. Then, you know, it's always good to have one or two. Featured abilities, yes, Forbearance. Chance of taking physical damage for all allies. Multi Fist, attack for enemies chosen at random. And boost defense for all allies. Same right here. We don't know how much uh, he's going to boost the defense for all allies. But. To be expected, a 3 to a 5 star unit, you're not going to be using them as much. Then, I think that's the last one. Yeah, that's the last one. We got Robin Hood, or Robin Hood, should I say. Attack, uh, this sprite, I don't know why, this guy is so funny. This guy is really funny. Uh, Trust Master, reward, global upgrade. Moon Axe, attack 125, which is an axe. And chance of confusing enemy. Just for the, uh, forget about the chance of confusing one enemy, but just the axe, a 125 is actually not bad at all. Featured abilities, Smashing Slash, damage and reduces defense for one enemy. Chance of evading physical attack. And crushing blow damage and reduce defense for all enemies. Then, May 3rd, we're gonna get ability awakening updates for these guys. So, we actually get them and not even two weeks from now we're gonna get their ability awakening update which is pretty pretty cool. Uh, for me personally, I don't know why but this liquid metal slime is really really interesting. Can't wait to see what you can do with this little guy. Uh, I think that was it. Yeah, featured summon. Do we have anything on the notices? Collaboration campaign? No, important. Maintenance? No, we're all good. So, guys, I'm really looking forward for this week. We got two bosses. So, we are going to get the White Dragon, which we're going to be able to fight. Uh, don't forget, you have to bring a team of four or less, as my hands is really low. Four or less. Uh, then, we're going to get the fight with uh, True Garuda right here. Whoa, 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 which is going to be a party of five or less. So, really excited for this week, guys. Uh, hope you guys are excited as I am. That King Mog event is always fun to get, especially that we just finished one uh, a couple weeks ago. Well, a couple weeks ago, maybe two weeks ago. And it's always fun that we still get the raid event at the same time. Uh, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, please leave a like, sub uh, subscribe for more, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.